Hello guys, my name is Lester Rubello and today I'm going to configure a Cisco router to act as a DHCP server as well as I'm going to configure a DNS server and I'm going to show you how it is done. I'll use a basic configuration, one router, one switch and a couple of PCs and a server. And the OK and a server. We'll rename this as DNS server. And we rename this router as a DHCP server. OK. OK, sorry about that. OK. There we go guys, now we have to cable the diagram. Host net 0 slash 0. Okay. It doesn't matter which cable you use. As long as it is, is connected to the switch. That's fine. We'll use this. We'll use as a, the IP address for this is 1.2 slash 24 and we'll use IP address for this app is as 1.1 24 as a mask okay there go guys whose name is HCP okay and we are going to configure the HCP pool and give it as a name give it a name name can be anything I'll give it as a deploy to specify the network which is 192.168.1.0 and the sub networks would be slash 24 okay now the default router would be the IP address of this one 1.1 1 .1. faster than 0 slash 0 1.1 you don't have to give a subnet mask over here only the IP address and we have to configure a DNS server which is the IP address of this server 192.168.1.2 one dot two that's it exit now one more thing we have to do we have to exclude some of the IP addresses HCP excluded addresses that is from one nine two dot one six eight dot one dot one two one nine two dot one six eight dot one dot nine the reason for this is you need to exclude some of the addresses like the server will have a static IP address the router will have a static IP address so around in the production environment those IP addresses remain fixed as a static ones these IP addresses doesn't change so we don't we can't assign them a dynamic IP address we can assign them but we don't want the IP address to change again and again so it will be confusing for the clients to find a router or find a server if the IP addresses start to change again and again so it would be a mess so that's why we have to issue static IP addresses so we have to exclude whichever IP addresses it doesn't matter it's 1.9 or you can put a whatever 1.20 or whatever from now what the router will do will not assign the IP address is from 1 to 9 it will start from 10 and then it will go on 10 11 12 till 254 okay is it copy the running config the job is done on this router we have to go on this server remember guys this is act as a DNS server Now we have to put the IP address of that server. 
one dot two subnet mask is slash twenty four and the default gateway would be one dot one of this and this would be the same because it is a DNS server. Now we have to go click on this config tab, click on domain name DNS type the name or whatever canonical name www.cisco.com add the IP address IP address of the this server on okay. click on add turn the service on make this make sure you turn the service on otherwise it won't work click on HTTPS make sure these are both on toggle between them that's it guys so now this should get uh, an IP address from the DHCP server and the DNS so go over here okay I did it fail oh oh DHCP request failed oh why did it fail because I have not configured the interface down sorry guys forgot to configure the interface That's it guys. Now, now the PC should get an IP address from the server. Okay, there we go. Okay, there we go. Now one thing is there. We have to check if we are getting a request or the web address from this we have to go on the this thing type the number cisco.com here we go okay .com. okay I'll make sure I'm not bluffing you guys because I'll put uh, another this thing okay let's put cc let's put google Sorry. okay first name unresolved because we have not specified google over there that's why it's not resolved if you put okay here we go Thank you guys for watching this and if you want the lab you can download it from the description there's a link below over there in the description thank you guys and don't forget to subscribe or like if this video has helped you thanks a lot guys